pull this plate up right here. Just get underneath here with some trim pieces or trim tools. And this just pries up. Right here, we're just going to pop this off. Just get underneath here with a trim tool or a screwdriver. This will pop off just like that. Just remove this panel, just lift up, and just slide it out of the way. Now this panel comes up, just use some trim tools. Get underneath here, and right there, lift up. This just slides up. You may have some screws in this panel right here. This one does not have screws. And pop those out. That will slide up, slide that out of the way. In this channel, we're going to take these three screws out, use a Phillips head screwdriver. screws out with those screws out then you can take this panel off it just pops up there's a couple of clips and then this you don't necessarily need to disconnect this from from the panel but just know that that's loose like that that's okay now we can take a trim tool just get over here get behind the panel or a couple trim tools Pry this out. There is a screw in there. Take this screw out. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver. We just need to move this panel out a little bit. With the panel like this, you can just push down on the tab to access the connector, disconnect it. Take these two screws out, use a 10 millimeter socket. From right here, you wanna use a trim tool. Just get underneath here and pry. Just a couple of clips holding it on. Pop it out just like that. There's two pins and this rubber grommet right here. We'll take this off. You can use a pick or a screwdriver. Just get underneath there, pry that out, and just slide it out. To replace the bulbs, you can remove this socket just by twisting to the left and then grab the bulb and just pull it out. This is a C3156 bulb single filament. Just line this up, line it back in, and tighten it up. To do the next bulb, the same thing, twist to the left, slide it out, pull that bulb out. This is a 921 bulb, line it up, put it in, and twist to the right. Take the last bulb out, the same, Twist to the left and slide it out. Grab the socket and pull the bulb out. And this bulb is a C3157. Line it up. Put the socket back in. Line the socket up and twist to the right. Now slide the wiring harness through. Grab it from inside there. Push the rubber grommet in position. You can use a trim tool or a screwdriver. Try to get it to seal properly.
with the grommet installed, then you can line the pins up. And just push them in, lock it in place. Take the two screws, get those started. And tighten them down. Now on the inside, line that connector up and lock it down. Now we can line all those pins up and push it down, lock it in place. The weather stripping might have popped in a little bit. Just go along, make sure it's in the right position. That's good. Now screw this in first. Get that lined up. You can snug that down and line these screws up. You can get all of these started first. Once they're all in, just tighten them down. Now line this cover up, put it in place. Now take this panel, line it up, and just push it down. This panel is going to go back in place right there. If you had screws screwing, holding this down, then screw those back in. Take this panel, line this up. Lock it down and line this panel up and push it down. If you had another carpet on top, put that back in place. And you can take this push pin, line this up right here and push it back down.